Bianca, thank you. And now in honor of Black History Month, we are putting the spotlight on some of the many people who have helped to shape our community. And this morning, CBS4 anchor Rick Fulbaum brings you the inspiring story of a husband and wife team, both doctors, who dedicated themselves to caring for South Florida's African-American residents. The idea of giving back has always been a part of my uh, thinking about my part or my place in society. I was four when I said I wanted to be a doctor. My uh, grandmother was ill at the time. I don't that, know whether that, that probably had an effect on me. And uh, I told her I, when I grew up, I was gonna be a doctor and I was gonna treat her, get her better. Doctors George and Dizelle Simpson, South Florida pioneers. George, the first board certified African American surgeon in the state of Florida. Dizelle, the first African American pediatrician in Miami. They met at medical school in Nashville, continued their training in South Florida, and chose to settle in Miami, Dizelle's hometown. I decided that uh, we might well come here, although I didn't quite decide that until my wife built a house in Miami in 1955. The civil rights movement here was not yet in full force. And I remember when I came here, Fort Lauderdale was just as bad as any part of Alabama or Mississippi. But Miami was a kind of an oasis, and we did not find the stiff, unrelenting resistance to integration here that we did in other parts. And Miami was very lucky to have the Simpsons. They quickly realized a need in South Florida's black communities. The poor side of a community always got the worse in health because economic and psychological and religious attitudes caused a lot of illness. And they did something about it. We petitioned the University of Miami and the city to have this thing built on the west side where there was a great underserving of the population. George was the first medical director of Miami's first community health center. Dizelle would see patients in health clinics for $3 an hour. She always remembered as a young girl watching African Americans wait for hours and hours to see a white doctor. She actually wrote about it. This is what my fifth grade paper said. They would be they would come to doctors of the of color where they would be treated properly and they wouldn't have to <laughs> Wait, Wait outside until everybody else was seen. One couple married more than 65 years. Doctors, activists, trailblazers. The very best South Florida has to offer. That was Rick Fulbaum. And while he was practicing medicine, Dr. George Simpson was also active in the civil rights movement and the local NAACP. He fought for desegregation in all public facilities from hospitals to schools, even restaurants. The Simpsons still live in Coconut Grove, and they're just a great example for so many in our community. Absolutely. Amazing story there.